I was thinking this yesterday when I found this card. I thought about Wendy a lot, and I thought that we all have god parents, and、um, so we you can ask someone who is your god parent and like this. And I thought we all should have. One Wendy in our life, so you could ask who is your Wendy in your life, <laughs> because she is such, such a beautiful, beautiful woman in in everything. She means a lot to me, everything to me. I wake up every day and con- I consider every day an adventure. Okay, what am I going to do today? And so I might not have a plan, but I'll find a way、uh, to make it a great day. My mom is like a. A kid, I feel <laughs> she's like a kid in in at heart, and she just likes to play around and goof off and have a good time. She honestly never seems like she's ever depressed or upset. She's always happy, ready to go. Oh, I've never seen anyone else wake up so happy every day. Yeah, just it's a it's a beautiful day, and the world is her oyster. And what's she gonna do today? You know? Yeah. She's a kid at heart that's never grown up. She she can play with that wheel or that crow free whatever it is for hours. It still goes on and and she goes into the moment. There is no,、um, you know, as you grow older, you you become more、oh, aware of things, and she is more aware of things. But I see her go into her choreography, and I see her go into whatever she's creating, and just just. Could be there for hours. I mean, she will do sometimes at her event. She will do choreography until two in the morning, and she's like a little kid. She'll go on and on and on. Wendy is a force of nature, you know, and、uh, she just kind of like blows in, and it's ba bam, you know. And Wendy's here, but it's wonderful. She's got great energy. She's creative.、Um, Everything is always very, very positive all the time. She really is a person, you know, in my opinion, that looks on the、uh, brighter side of things, which is, you know, a great thing. I was in the dance world, and then I went out, had children, and I stayed out of it a little bit. And then when I split up from my、uh, ex-husband and came back more into the competition world,、uh, two people said to me, you, "You know, you should do this, Wendy." Is was Esmond Solberg and Ron Montez, bless Ron Montez, and they said, "You know, you should get back into the judging and choreography." And I go, "I'm no good at choreography." But I always thought she was a great choreographer from the first time I met her. Simply because what she could bring out of my staff,、uh, we didn't have anybody like her come into the studio, and it was such an impact on the first visit that I think throughout my career,、uh, which goes from the seventies、uh, right through to the, just the turn of the century,、um, I wouldn't feel complete unless I had Wendy coming into the studio at least a couple of times a year. I've never seen the duo. A bad anything. One time she she did do a choreography number for Bill Sparks and Kimberly Mitchell, and I they wouldn't tell me what it was. Okay, and it was for the show dance at Ohio Star Ball. And out comes Billy Sparks, dancing, keep your hat on. And all of a sudden, at the end of the the number, Kimberly rips his clothes off, and all he has is a little bikini on. And I said to him. Who the hell gave you that? He said, Wendy. I said, What do you do? Everything Wendy says. <laughs> and and I was wondering why he was getting buffed all year, and he was getting tan, because this was her way of again of do, doing choreography. She knew what she wanted. She told him what she wanted him to look like. You know, and and the thing is, when you have confidence in anyone, you know, doing something, and you trust them, you do, comp- you know, you go completely what they say. You know, I mean, she is a super teacher. She's a really great choreographer, and she understands very well all the genres of dancing. She can, she understands ballroom and Latin extremely well, and she understands rhythm and smooth. So she's someone that you could go to、uh, for a good look or good advice. On any style that you were doing, and Wendy can help you with that. I mean, she's she's got a great knowledge of dancing. Sometimes we argue about who's who's the best and who's the not, and we don't always agree on that. But 
but I respect her greatly for her knowledge and her ability as well. She is probably one of the easiest She's ladies to lead into anything because she feels the music and she has a sense of what the the man is going to do so she's able to follow faultlessly um, and it's because of her ability to to hear the music and to appreciate the music. She started ballet uh, first off she was in a ballet school Dark Abbott run a ballet school that she went to I was dragged along to dance competitions for many years at the carnival, at the town hall, uh, little rural competitions, watching her do her ballet. Um, I took up ballet for one day and that was it because I was a little bit bigger than Wendy. Um, and then she got to the advanced solar seal level, so she was really a good ballet dancer and quite tiny. When I was a, a ballet dancer, there used to be a competition called Impromptu and you would hear the music once and then you would go on stage and dance and then everybody in the competition only heard the music once and danced and I always won that competition and years later I realised that's what I do. You, you give me music and I just start dancing to it. It's some music that dictates to me what I'm, what I'm going to do with choreography. So pretty much every time I, I might say it's a French show, so I've got some great French music, and then off I go. Or I decide to use all classical music, and but it's the music that sends me wherever I land up with the dancing. Well, you can see the uh, the love that she has for dancing by the way that she composes herself. I mean, she likes to watch good dancing. She still goes to England sometimes to watch the major competitions. So she cares about it and she wants to stay current with all the trends, which she does. And of course, if you're working with top couples all the time, you do stay current, which is, I think, really important for someone uh, in the profession to stay current and to not miss out on the trends. And, and also, Wendy's got a good idea of the traditions of, of dancing as well. So she's well-rounded in that respect. My mom had this idea, you know what? I'm going to bring Pro-Am to New Zealand and also do more like a, how we do competitions here in America. Every year it's built up, it's built up, it's built up, and now it's the biggest competition in New Zealand. And, uh, you know, a lot of the Australians come over and, um, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I think she does it because she has this passion for ensuring a beautiful future for our industry and making sure that it grows with the rest of the dancers and with the rest of the world and uh, taking care of the dancers over in New Zealand is equally as important to her as taking care of the dancers here. So I think that it's definitely a passion project for her as well. I think that Wendy is the most fabulous and glamorous mother-in-law and grandmother that anyone could wish for. Um, she definitely puts her family 100% first in everything that she does and that's very admirable and inspirational for me as a relatively new mom to strive for as well. She takes really good care of our daughter, Gia. She'll drop anything to make sure that either my sister's family or we are all good. She is a very active, hands-on, playful grandma. She um, isn't, she's the one that's gonna get on the floor with them and, and play games with them, um, give them all the sugar that <laughs> she wants to. Uh, my grandparents, my dad's parents raised Marcus and I for maybe the first five years of my life and um, spoiled us rotten. And now she's doing the same, the same with my kids. Um, and I know it brings her like such joy to, to be able to buy them presents and give them candy and give them whatever they want. <laughs> Wendy, I am so honored to have been asked to uh, speak about you uh, for this very prestigious award that you are uh, receiving. And I think it's very, very well res uh, deserved. You are, can I do that again? Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, 
Wendy, I just want to say how honored I am to have been asked to be interviewed for uh, this award by DBDC. Uh, it's so well deserved. Uh, you are a super unique person. Uh, we've always gotten along so well, and I think that we kind of have a kindred spirit, you know, with each other. So I'm really happy to be able to personally congratulate you, um, even though we're not going to be there. Uh, so enjoy the award, enjoy the accolade. It's well deserved, and just keep calm and carry on, girl. Congratulations. In this world, you are a powerhouse of excellence without ever making a big deal out of yourself. You know your art, you know your choreography, you, you know your dance. You've done it, you've been there, you've done it all. But most of all, you are my dearest friend. Congratulations, Wendy. Wendy, we, we want to congratulate you uh, with the DBDC Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, we're so proud of you. You've done such a wonderful job throughout your life in promoting dance, um, showing dance to people, teaching people to dance, um, helping people um, with their dancing uh, goals. And uh, you've just spent a whole lifetime of it. And it, it, we're so glad that you're receiving this award. You deserve it totally. And uh, our congratulations. Congratulations, Wendy, on receiving the DBDC Lifetime Achievement Award. We're so excited for you. You're so deserving of this award. I don't know why it's taken so long for you to get it. Um, <laughs> it I is wish, a lifetime award. <laughs> I wish that we could have been there to, to see you receive the award. But uh, sending you all our love uh, from the family here in New Zealand. Love you. Talk to you soon. Congratulations, Mom, for receiving the DBDC Lifetime Achievement Award. We are so proud of you. We love you. We, we've always known you're a legend, and now, now everybody else knows too. Congratulations, Mom. You completely deserve this award. You've been the best mother, and I feel like you're a mother to the whole dance world, and uh, you completely earned it. Congratulations, Wendy. We love you. You absolutely deserve this and everything else in the world. Thank you for everything you do. Congratulations on your award, Ema. We love you. Thank you for inspiring me to dance. Thank you. I love you.